uh, we are in a hands-on section of this part so we're gonna see a practical examples of how we can combine the script engine and use it to change the control flow of a real world uh, program and for this uh, part of the tutorial i made a really simple c program that just keeps showing test boost through uh, each two seconds uh, like uh, because this test bool is true just keeps uh, telling that the test bool is true so i will put this application to my virtual machine and meanwhile i bring uh, x64 dvg to show how we can use uh, hyper dvg and x64 dvg together i just try to run okay here we go we just keep uh, running the debug and you can see that this keeps running uh ex like test uh underlying bool is true uh, so we're gonna just uh, put some debugging here some fast debugging here and to find where where is the guilty function that is responsible for setting for showing this message so yeah yeah it was here this call function will eventually lead to this uh, test underlying bool is true so what we're gonna do now uh, is that we know that uh, this jump or th this jne jump not equal will pass the this call and probably this is the guilty function or this is the conditional statement here so i just I just copy the address from this function and try to manipulate uh, the execution flow. That's enough for this program. I will uh, run another program again. Yeah. It's uh, I just copy this address and this is the address that I want to modify no let's see what is the address uh, what is the process ID of this process go it's a nine six six uh, because we wish we should convert uh, the process ID to the hexadecimal format so it's uh, uh hype, everything is hype hyper region is in uh hexadecimal format so we're gonna convert it here yeah it's equal to this address so i'm gonna copy it bring it here and create a simple hook for this command i put a simple uh ept hook which works on both user mode and carrier mode and this address is a user mode address and then I will put a script and write a simple script which just tries to put zero flag to zero change the execution flow so let's just connect the hyper division in the lo local kernel debugging Loading the VMM. Let's hope that it's connected to the WinDVG. We have to wait to see whether, yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not connected. Uh, so the what happened? Yeah. Okay. It's not connected and I wanna uh, just put it here to show that it's currently running. I will use this script to patch the Z, Z uh, or zero flag. I run it and as you can see that it's uh, that in the uh, target program it's changed to false. Everything here is uh, changed to false. So we patch the normal execution, uh, execution flow of this program and 
the thing is that you can also man manage the events like disabling this event the event id is zero so i want to disable zero and after disabling it you can see that it's again changed to true uh, the, the application won't be notified that it's changed because we are using the apt host if i uh, re-enable it again you can see that it changed to false here are the, some innovative ways that we can use HyperDG to patch the normal execution flow of the programs. And I think it's enough for this part.